In the world of classic Hollywood, the name Louis Jourdain is often associated with elegance, charm, and versatility. Born Louis Gendry in April 1921 in Marseille, France, he would later adopt the stage name that would catapult him to international stardom. Gurdon's acting career spanned over five decades, during which he graced both the big and small screens. He first gained recognition in his native France, where he appeared in numerous films throughout the 1930s and 1940s. However, it was his move to Hollywood in the late 1940s that truly solidified his status as a leading man. One of Jourdan's most iconic roles was that of Gaston in the 1948 film The Paradine Case, directed by the legendary Alfred Hitchcock. His portrayal of the charming but duplicitous valet left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. Throughout the 1950s and 1960s, Jourdan continued to captivate audiences with his suave demeanor and undeniable talent. He starred in a variety of films, from romantic comedies like Gigi to thrillers such as The Best of Everything. In addition to his work in film, Jordan also made a name for himself on television. He appeared in numerous TV shows, including Count Dracula and Hotel, for which he received an Emmy nomination. Despite his numerous accolades, Jordan remained humble and dedicated to his craft until the end. He passed away in February 2015, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. Have you ever heard of the French actor Louis Jordan? Perhaps you first recognized him in the classic film, Gigi, or Ken Can. Did you know that Jourdan initially pursued a career in diplomacy before turning to acting? Or that he served in the French army during World War II? Despite his suave and sophisticated on-screen persona, Jourdan's life was filled with both triumphs and hardships. During the filming of Letter from an Unknown Woman, he received news that his father had passed away. Yet, he continued to work, dedicating the film to his father's memory. Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to Louis Jourdain? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. There are many more fascinating facts and anecdotes about this classic star coming up, so be sure to keep watching. From his humble beginnings to his rise to stardom, Louis Jourdain's life and career are a true testament to his talent and determination. So, stay tuned and learn more about this remarkable actor. Born in 1921 in Marseille, France, Louis Jourdain was raised in a family of actors. His father, Henry Jourdain, was a stage actor, and his mother, Yvonne, ran a drama school. This early exposure to the world of theater ignited a passion for acting in young Louis. As a child, he would often accompany his father to rehearsals and performances, watching in awe as actors brought stories to life on stage. These experiences made a lasting impression on him and solidified his desire to become an actor. During his teenage years, Louis attended the Conservatoire de Musique et de Déclamation in Paris, where he honed his acting skills under the guidance of renowned instructors. It was here that he met Jean Cocteau, a famous French poet, playwright, and filmmaker who became a mentor to the young actor. Cocteau recognized Louis' talent and cast him in his 1939 film The Blood of a Poet. This marked Louis's film debut and set him on a path to stardom. Throughout his career, Lewis drew inspiration from various sources, including classic literature, art, and music. He was particularly fond of the works of Shakespeare and often incorporated elements of the Bard's plays into his performances. Additionally, Louis was influenced by the acting styles of Hollywood legends such as Clark Gable, Gary Cooper, and Spencer Tracy. He admired their ability to convey emotion and depth through subtle gestures and facial expressions. In turn, Louis became a mentor to younger actors sharing his knowledge and experience with those who sought to follow in his footsteps. His passion for the craft and dedication to his art left a lasting impact on the film industry and continues to inspire aspiring actors to this day. Louis Jourdain, a French actor, is known for his work in both French and American films. He began his career in the 1930s in France, but it was his move to Hollywood in the 1940s that brought him international fame. One of his most well-known films is Gigi, where he played the role of Gaston Lachaille. This classic musical romance film, based on the novel by Colette, earned nine Academy Awards, including Best Picture. In Letter from an Unknown Woman, Jourdain played the role of Stéphane Brand, a famous pianist and womanizer who has a profound impact on a young woman's life. This film is a must-watch for fans of romantic dramas. Jourdain also starred in the Hitchcock thriller The Paradine Case as barrister Anthony Keane, this film is a classic example of Hitchcock's mastery of suspense and intrigue. For those new to Jourdain's work, 
Can Can is a great place to start. In this film, Jurgan plays the role of a judge who falls in love with a cabaret performer, played by Shirley MacLaine. The film is a lively and entertaining musical that showcases Jurgan's charm and charisma. Another film worth watching is Swamp Thing, where Jurgan plays the role of the villainous Dr. Anton Arcane. This film is a departure from Jurgan's usual romantic roles, but it showcases his versatility as an actor. In conclusion, Louis Jurgan's filmography is a testament to his talent and versatility as an actor. From romantic musicals to Hitchcock thrillers, Jurgan's work has left a lasting impact on the world of cinema. Even as a young boy, Louis Jurgan showed a keen interest in acting. Growing up in France, he was surrounded by the vibrant world of theater and film. His mother, Yvonne, was a talented pianist and singer, and she nurtured her son's creative spark from an early age. One day, when Louis was just 14 years old, he accompanied his mother to the prestigious Comédie Française Theater in Paris. As they watched the actors on stage, Louis was captivated by their performances. He later recalled, I was enchanted by the magic of the theater, the way the actors could transport the audience to another world. After the show, Louis approached one of the actors and asked if he could study acting with him. The actor was impressed by the young boy's passion and agreed to take him on as a student. Louis studied with him for several years, learning the craft of acting and honing his skills. When Louis was 17, he was discovered by a film director who was scouting for new talent. The director was impressed by Louis's natural talent and offered him a role in his next film. Louis accepted the offer and his film career was born. Throughout his long and successful career, Louis Jurgen remained passionate about his craft. He once said, acting is not just a profession, it's a way of life. It's a way of expressing yourself and connecting with others. For Louis, the creative spark that was ignited in him as a young boy never dimmed, and he continued to captivate audiences with his powerful performances for decades to come. The actor Louis Jordan, alongside his family, was a regular attendee of Good Shepherd Catholic Church in Santa Monica, California. It was there that Louis Jr. had his first communion. Originally hailing from the south of France, Jordan grew up with two brothers. His parents, Yvonne Jordan and Henry Gendre, managed a series of hotels in Cannes, Nice and Marseille, which provided young Louis with ample opportunities to practice his English by speaking to the tourists. In the classic film Gigi, Jurgan portrayed Gaston Lacaille, and he was joined by fellow French actors Leslie Caron as Gigi and Maurice Chevalier as Honor Lacaille. Each of them brought an authentic touch to their roles, as they were all French, just like the characters they played. Born in 1921 in Marseille, France, Louis Jurgan faced financial struggles early on. His family, involved in the hotel business, lost everything during the Great Depression. Despite these hardships, he pursued his passion for acting. Skepticism loomed when he ventured into the film industry. His elegant appearance and charming French accent led some to question his acting abilities. However, the actor remained undeterred, determined to prove his worth. Jurgen turned to the theater, perfecting his craft on stage. His performances caught the attention of film producers, and he began to receive offers for roles in films. His breakthrough came with his role in the parodying case directed by the legendary Alfred Hitchcock. Despite the language barrier, the actor found creative solutions to overcome industry skepticism. He worked tirelessly to perfect his English, and his dedication paid off. He went on to star in numerous Hollywood films, including Giggy and Letter from an Unknown Woman. Through resilience and hard work, Louis Jordan overcame early obstacles and became a respected and admired actor in both France and Hollywood. After serving in the French resistance during the war, Louis Jordan found himself under contract with David O. Selznick, who then loaned him out for the film letter from an unknown woman. In this movie, Jordan played the role of Stéphane Brand, opposite Joan Fontaine. Later, Jordan moved across the street from Doris Day in Beverly Hills and took on the role of Lyle Benton in the film Julie. However, it was Jordan's performance as Gaston Lacaille and Giggy that truly showcased his talent. Under the inspired direction of Vincente Minnelli, Gigi became a masterpiece, with the use of vibrant colors and textures reaching its zenith. One iconic scene in Gigi features Gaston's final wrestle with his conscience, played against a stunning moonlit shot of the place de la Concorde Fountain. This image was so powerful that it was used over a decade later in That's Entertainment, to coincide with Louis Jordan's vocal of the title song. In the end, Louis Jordan's talent, and versatility were showcased in various classic films, leaving a lasting impact on the world of cinema.
1958, the actor, Louis Jourdan, experienced a significant breakthrough moment with his role in the classic film Gigi. This film, an adaptation of a popular stage play, showcased his versatility as an actor and earned him critical acclaim. Gigi was a turning point for Louis Jourdan as he transitioned from supporting roles to leading man status. His portrayal of Gaston Lacaille, a wealthy playboy, was a revelation. The New York Times praised his charm and elegance, highlighting his ability to balance humor and drama. This film also marked a milestone in Jordan's career as it won nine Academy Awards, including Best Picture. The actor's compelling performance in Gigi opened doors for more diverse roles, solidifying his place in Hollywood's elite. Peers and critics alike acknowledged this breakthrough. The film's director, Vincente Minnelli, noted Jordan's impeccable timing and delivery, which added depth to his character. Co-star Leslie Caron praised his professionalism and warmth, making their on-screen chemistry palpable. In addition to Gigi, the actor's work in the 1978 television series Count Dracula also gained critical acclaim. Jordan's portrayal of the iconic character was both menacing and sympathetic, a far cry from previous depictions. This performance demonstrated his range as an actor and his willingness to take on challenging roles. Critics hailed this interpretation of Dracula, with The Hollywood Reporter noting Jordan's nuanced and chilling performance. His ability to humanize the character allowed audiences to empathize with Dracula, making this series a standout in the actor's career. These breakthrough moments not only showcased Louis Jordan's talent, but also solidified his status as a respected and versatile actor in both film and television. In the film Gigi, the actor Louis Jordan, who played Gaston Lacaille, faced a significant challenge. Following the first preview, the musical scoring was redone from scratch due to its overly orchestrated nature. This was no easy task, as much of Lerner and Lowy's score was designed for singing and dialogue to overlap. Jordan had to overdub his extended soliloquy leading into the title song, which had been filmed without issue. To salvage the performance, musical director Andre Previn conducted the orchestra in time with Jordan's monologue, which was displayed on screen for the musicians to follow. As children, both Jordan and fellow French actor Gerard Philippi attended the Institut Stanislas a private Catholic school in Cannes. They were both sons of local hotel owners. In Letter from an Unknown Woman, the actor played Stefan Brand. He and Joan Fontaine performed a half-hour version of the story for radio on the Camel Screen Guild Players series in 1948. These experiences demonstrate the actor's versatility and commitment to his craft as he navigated the challenges of filmmaking and live performance with grace and determination. Louis Jourdan, a French actor, was known for his suave and sophisticated demeanor both on and off screen. His artistic vision and process were deeply rooted in his European upbringing and training. Jourdan's unique approach to his work involved fully immersing himself in his characters, often drawing from his personal experiences and worldview to bring depth and authenticity to his performances. In his early years, Jourdan trained at the prestigious Conservatoire National Supérieur d'Art Dramatique in Paris. This rigorous training provided him with a solid foundation in classical theater, which he would later incorporate into his film work. Jourdan's ability to seamlessly blend the techniques of stage and screen acting set him apart from his contemporaries and established him as a formidable talent. One of the key aspects of Jourdan's artistic process was his meticulous attention to detail. He would spend hours analyzing a script, breaking down each scene, and exploring the motivations and emotions of his characters. This level of preparation allowed him to fully inhabit his roles and deliver nuanced, compelling performances. Jourdan's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in his work. Having lived through World War II and its aftermath, he brought a sense of gravitas and wisdom to his roles. His films often explored themes of love, loss, and redemption, resonating with audiences worldwide. Despite his classical training, Jourdan was not afraid to experiment with different genres and styles. He appeared in a wide range of films, from romantic comedies to film noirs, always bringing his unique perspective and artistry to each project. Jordan's approach to acting was not just about delivering lines or hitting marks, it was about creating a fully realized, believable character that resonated with audiences. His commitment to his craft and his ability to adapt to different roles and genres made him a true icon of classic Hollywood. The actor Louis Jourdan lent his voice to record Antoine de Saint-Exupéry's Little Prince and several of Jean de Brunhoff's Babar books for Kiedman Audio. This classic children's literature gained a new dimension through his narration. 
In Letter from an Unknown Woman, the actress Joan Fontaine played Lisa, who was at least several years younger than the character of Stefan Brand, portrayed by Jourdan. In reality, Fontaine was older than Jourdan, which added an interesting layer to their on-screen relationship. Jourdan's screen debut as a singer came in the film Gigi, where he played Gaston Lacaille. His ease and confidence in singing were largely influenced by the precedent of speak singing popularized by Rex Harrison in My Fair Lady. The composers of both scores, Alan J. Lerner and Frederick Lowy, facilitated Jurdan's transition into singing. His successful portrayal of Gaston led to two more musical appearances in Can Can and Made in Paris. Louis Jourdan, an actor of French origin, left an indelible mark on the film industry. His contributions to cinema spanned across decades, gracing both European and American screens with his undeniable talent. Known for his suave demeanor and piercing gaze, Jordan often played sophisticated characters that captivated audiences. In the 1950s, he starred in several Hollywood films, including Gigai and Letter from an Unknown Woman, which showcased his ability to portray complex emotions with subtlety and grace. According to Richard Corliss, a former film critic for Time magazine, Jordan had a quiet, almost smoldering presence on screen that made him ideally suited for romantic leads. This sentiment is echoed by film historian Janine Basinger, who notes that Jordan brought a certain European elegance to American film, which was not common at the time. Jordan's influence can be seen in the work of modern actors such as Ralph Fiennes and Colin Firth, both of whom have cited the French star as an inspiration. Fiennes, in particular, has noted Jordan's ability to convey deep emotion through subtle facial expressions, a technique that Fiennes has incorporated into his own acting style. In addition to his work in film, Jordan also made significant contributions to television. In the 1980s, he starred in the popular series Hotel, which further solidified his status as a versatile and enduring talent. Despite his passing in 2015, Jordan's legacy continues to resonate within the industry. His ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and grace, as well as his undeniable charm and sophistication, have left an impact that continues to be felt today. As film historian David Thompson notes, Jordan's work is a testament to the power of understated acting, and his influence can be seen in the work of countless actors who have followed in his footsteps. The actor Louis Jordan was known for his good looks and talent, but he could also be a challenge to work with. Leslie Caron, his co-star in Gigi, recalled that he was not comfortable with his image and often expressed his angst with constant negative comments about the staging. However, his wit and self-deprecating humor were unique and rare. In the parodying case, the Lux Radio Theater broadcast a 60-minute radio adaptation of the movie on May 9, 1949, with Louis Jourdan and Alita Valli reprising their roles. The actor played the role of Andre Latour, a man accused of murder. When it came to Madame Bovary, Vincente Minnelli originally wanted James Mason for the role of Rodolphe, but he took the role of author Gustave Flaubert in the framing story. As a result, Louis Jordan stepped in to play Rodolphe, delivering a memorable performance. Despite his occasional challenges, Louis Jordan left an indelible mark on the world of classic films, with his talent and good looks making him a standout in any role he played. Louis Jordan, the French actor known for his suave and sophisticated roles, led a life that was as fascinating outside of the limelight as it was on the silver screen. His personal values and interests often informed his work, adding depth and authenticity to his portrayals. Jordan was a passionate advocate for the arts, using his platform to promote the importance of cultural expression. He was also a dedicated environmentalist, using his voice to raise awareness about the need to protect the planet. In fact, he was involved in several environmental organizations and causes throughout his life. One of the most notable examples of Jordan's philanthropic efforts was his involvement with the International Fund for Animal Welfare. He was a longtime supporter of the organization and used his influence to help raise awareness about the plight of endangered species. In addition to his environmental activism, Jordan was also committed to supporting the next generation of artists. He was involved in several arts education organizations and was a frequent guest lecturer at universities and colleges. Despite his many accomplishments, Jordan remained humble and dedicated to his craft until the end. He continued to act well into his later years, appearing in films and television shows that showcased his enduring talent and versatility. Through his work both on and off the screen, Louis Jordan leaves behind a legacy that will continue to inspire and captivate audiences for generations to come. 
his passion for the arts, his commitment to environmentalism, and his dedication to supporting the next generation of artists are just a few of the many ways that he made a lasting impact on the world. Louis Jordan is known for his portrayal of Edmond Dantes in the story of the Count of Monte Cristo in 1961. Interestingly, he later took on the role of de Villefort in another adaptation of the same story in 1975. This versatile actor's ability to bring different dimensions to the same character is a testament to his talent. Jordan was an avid reader, drawing inspiration from authors like Molière, Proust, Fado, Shakespeare, Ruskin, Munterland, Nietzsche, and Schopenhauer. His love for literature shaped his understanding of complex characters and narratives, which he translated onto the screen. In addition to his acting skills, Jordan's contributions to the film industry have been recognized with two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This honor is a reflection of his enduring impact on cinema and his place in the annals of Hollywood history. Louis Jordan, a French actor who graced both Hollywood and European cinema, left an enduring legacy within the industry. Known for his suave and sophisticated demeanor, he excelled in various roles, from charming romantic leads to complex villains. His work in films like Gigi and Letter from an Unknown Woman remains etched in the annals of cinema history. Aspiring actors can learn from Jordan's dedication to his craft. He once said, the actor's only job is to interpret, to be a vessel for the character. It's not about our egos. This advice underscores the importance of humility and commitment to the role rather than seeking personal glory. Furthermore, Jordan's ability to adapt to different genres and languages showcases the value of versatility in the ever-evolving film industry. He once mentioned, I never wanted to be typecast. I wanted to explore the full range of human emotions and experiences. This open-minded approach allowed him to leave a lasting impact on the world of cinema. In terms of future contributions, the film industry would undoubtedly benefit from more stories that reflect the diverse experiences of people from various backgrounds, much like Jordan's own multicultural upbringing and career. By embracing inclusivity and telling compelling stories, aspiring professionals can continue to push the boundaries of the medium. For those looking to make their mark in the industry, Jordan's advice serves as a guiding light. He once stated, always be true to yourself and your art. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something because of who you are or where you come from. This empowering message encourages aspiring actors to stay authentic and resilient in the face of adversity. In conclusion, Louis Jordan's legacy serves as a reminder of the power of dedication, versatility, and authenticity in the film industry. By following his advice, aspiring professionals can contribute to the ongoing evolution of storytelling and leave their own indelible mark on cinema. After watching this heartfelt tribute to the actor, Louis Jordan, you might be reflecting on his impressive body of work. With a career spanning decades, he graced both the big and small screens, leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. In films like Gigi and Can Can, his charm and sophistication shone through, captivating audiences and critics alike. On television, he continued to enthrall viewers in shows such as Count Dracula and Hotel. His contributions to the industry are indeed cherishable. As you think about this classic actor's legacy, consider sharing your thoughts in the comments below. What are some of your favorite roles or performances of his? How has his work resonated with you over the years? Your insights could spark a lively discussion among fellow fans. And of course, don't forget to like and share this content with others who might appreciate it. By doing so, you're helping to keep the actor's memory alive and introducing his work to a new generation of viewers. Finally, if you're interested in learning more about the lives and legacies of other creative spirits who have shaped the entertainment landscape, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories.